Sworn in as president on the 13th of September 2022, William Ruto has inherited Kenya's economy, saddled with debt, inflation, joblessness, and national pessimism. With the country's economy being the main focus of his campaign, Ruto promised radical transformations if he emerged as the winner of the presidential seat. Keeping to his promise, his immediate actions are focused on the agricultural sector, micro, small, and medium enterprises, housing and settlement, healthcare and digital superhighway, and creative economy. The following are 25 projects, which he as president is expected to see that they are carried out till completion. Tana Hydroelectric Power Station Scheduled to take seven years of construction, the Tana River County is the site recommended to host the $5 billion nuclear power station. Kenya views the project as both a long-term solution to high fuel costs incurred during times of drought, when diesel generators are used in an effective way to cut carbon emissions from the power generating sector. The project will indeed boost economic growth in the country by providing cheap electricity for industrialists. Palm Exotica Resort Aimed at fundamentally transforming the nature of the Watamu community, this project is an ambitious plan to build a skyscraper in the coastal resort Watamu, where there is no building taller than three floors. Estimated to be constructed in exactly five years, the project comprises a 61-floor luxury tower and posh residential facilities. At completion, it will have five-star hotel rooms, conference facilities, and a community school of hospitality, among others. Kiambu to Thika Road Upgrade Through the state-owned Kenya National Highways Authority, the government of Kenya is carrying out this project that will upgrade the 62 kilometers road connecting Kiambu Road and Thika Superhighway. Split into six segments of different distances, which are to be designed as single or double carriageways, the project is expected to end traffic snarl-ups that are currently experienced along this route. Lokachur Lamu Pipeline 825 kilometers long, the onshore pipeline with a maximum diameter of 20 inches begins from Turkana to Lamu. Assigned to Tullo Kenya as operator, the project is expected to begin in 2022, began in 2020, and is owned by the government, Africa Oil, Total Energies, and Tullo Oil. Estimated to cost $1.2 billion, the pipeline is a key component of the $25 million Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor project. The project is a significant capital investment in Kenya, which has seen several advancement in resource extraction over the last few years. Mai Mahu Sozwa Road. 41 kilometers in length from Mai Mahu to Suzwa, the road is being constructed in a bid to stop the recurrent disruption and rerouting of traffic during the rainy season. The road begins at the Mai Mahu Junction on the Nairobi Nakuru Highway, passes through Mai Mahui Town, and traverses community land to the east of Mount Longanat before entering Suzwa Town. At a budget of 11 billion shillings, Kenya has opted to redesign and reconstruct the road. Mombasa Gate Bridge Estimated to cost 85 billion shillings, the Mombasa Gateway Bridge will link Mombasa Island with South Coast, replacing the 84-year-old ferry service, which suffers perennial breakdown that delay traffic flow to and fro Mombasa. With a completion date of June 2024, significant progress is being made as far as achieving the project is concerned. Dongo Kundu Bypass Highway Currently under construction, the road is expected to connect Mombasa Mainland West to Mombasa Mainland South without entering Mombasa Island. It is a necessary transport corridor for traffic destined to and from Tanzania, and that to and from the interior of Kenya and beyond. 
Being developed by the Kenya Highway Authority, the project includes the construct iron of four bridges and a free trade zone. Kenya Nairobi Mao Summit Highway. As part of the government of Kenya's first mover public private partnership program, the project is procured as a 30 year PPP concession for improvement and upgrade of Kenya, a 8 and a 8 South, mainly located in Kiambu and Nakuru counties. It comprises widening of the 175 kilometers four-lane dual carriageway and operation and maintenance of the existing A8 road from Moroni to Mao Summit. Nairobi Mass Transport System Aimed to support Kenya's first mass rapid transit system, its design provides modal alternatives and aimed to shift significant shares of individual travel to commuter rail and a new bus rapid transit system. Also, the project was planned to provide partial financing for rolling stock to allow poverty-oriented tariff schemes within a private business model. Mau Ma Road On a budget of 27 billion shillings, the Ma Ma Road will link four counties in the Kenya region. The road links the counties of Nyeri, Maranga, Kambu, and Nyandarua, borders the Aberdare Forest, and upon completion, will shorten the distance between the Central and Rift Valley regions. Lamu Garissa Road Found under the Lamu and Garissa counties, it is a section of the LAPSSET corridor with a total length of about 250 kilometers. It begins at Mokau and traverses the eastern side of Tana River. As a gateway project to the LAPSSET corridor, it provides connectivity to the other parts of Kenya through railway and highway. Canal Iziolo Highway Planned to be a dual carriage highway in Kenya, it would link Kinol in Maxchekos County to the towns of Ruwuru and Thika in Kiambu County, Kabedi and Makiu in Maranga County, Karatina and Kiganjo in Nyeri County, Nanyuki in Laikipia County, Timau in Meru County, and Iziolo in Iziolo County. As part of an important road corridor in Kemia, the road is designated as a class A road and is under the jurisdiction of Kenya National Highway Authority. Nairobi Expressway Also referred to as the JKIA Westland Highway, it is a toll road in Kenya which connects Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to the neighborhood of Veroni in Kiambu County along the Nairobi Lamu Road. It is intended to solve the problem of traffic from the international airport to the Nairobi city center thereby reducing the number of departing passengers who miss their flights. The project includes the expansion of the existing road to four lanes one way with footpaths, overpass bridges, street lighting, and drainage channels. Tattoo City Sponsored by the Renaissance Partners, the investment arm of Trussian Renaissance Capital Financial Holdings Limited, alongside Vimal Shah of Bidco Oil Refineries, former CBK Governor Nahashan Nyaga, and a few other shareholders. The private city is anticipated to host about 65,000 people and record an estimated 30,000 daily visitors. Launched in October 2010, but shortly stalled due to fierce ownership wrangles and court cases, the project got back on track after months of reassessment of its development strategy. Nortland City Estimated to cost $500 billion and occupy an 11,576 parcel of land in Ruwuru, the Nortland City is an ambitious project that will result in 11,000-acre mixed-use estate comprising residential, industrial, and commercial units, hosting about 250,000 people. Its master plan indicates that some 3,570 acres have been marked for housing, 390 acres for business district, and 695 acres for construction of an industrial park. Planned to be carried out in four phases, 
progress on the project is currently going on. Kaipivu Oil Terramine Ale. Being constructed directly opposite the second container terminal at the port of Mombasa near Dongo Kundu, the Kipivu Oil Terminal will replace the current above 50-year-old terminal, which is the first and the second container terminal. At a cost of $385 million, the project is being funded by KPA and built by the China Communications Construction Company. The project's scope includes the construction of four berths, dredging, construction of subsea pipelines for five different petroleum products, which are crude oil, heavy fuel, and three types of white oil products. Nairobi Railway City Developed by the UK firm Atkins Global, the Nairobi Railway City project aims to reconstruct 425 acres of central Nairobi in order to relieve congestion and boost economic growth. Agreed upon by President Kenyatta and UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson during the African Investment Summit in 2020, it is a flagship project in the UK-Kenya Strategic Partnership. Expected to be completed within 20 years, the Railway City is project is made up of the construction of a main station area, residential area, business hubs, multimodal transit stations, commercial buildings, international offices, small and medium enterprise cluster, and high-tech industry buildings. Nairobi Bus Rapid Transport System Project Proposed as a strategy for easing traffic congestion in the city, where over 3 million commuters spend an average of 57 minutes every day on short journeys, costing the country's economy a yearly $1 billion lost in productivity. The transport system extends through the Nairobi City County and the adjoining counties, including Kiambu, Kajiado, Machekos, Maranga, and includes a total of five lines named after Kenya's big five animals, which are Simba, Kifaru, Chu, Ndovu, and Miati. The project will engage 100 buses with a capacity of about 160 passengers in that initial phase. With the aim of introducing a reliable and efficient mass transit system that will attract even those using private vehicles, the buses will be equipped with Wi-Fi and coffee shops, and the passengers will use electronic cards to pay for the services. Malindi Bagamoyo Highway Being handled directly by the East African community, it is a road project in Kenya and Tanzania connecting the cities of Malindi and Mombasa in Kenya to Tanga and Bagamoyo in Tanzania. It is expected to ease the movement of traffic from both Mombasa and Tanga ports, destined for the landlocked countries of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, and DR Congo. The road design has been upgraded to Class I bitumen and widened to a double carriageway in Kenya. Menengai Geothermal Project Aimed at supporting the socio-economic development in Kenya by increasing installed energy capacity, diversifying the country's energy mix, and fostering private sector development, the project entails the design, construction, and operation of a 35 megawatts geothermal power plant located in the Menengai Geothermal Field in Nakuru County, Kenya. In alignment with Kenya's development programs, Vision 2030 in particular, the project will lower the cost of doing business in Kenya and improve the country's competitiveness in the region. Mombasa Nairobi Expressway Also known as the Nairobi Mombasa Highway, it is a Kenyan proposed four lane toll highway, which will link Nairobi to Mombasa, the largest seaport of the country. The highway is expected to cut travel times between the two cities from the current six to 10 hours to approximately four. It is a dual carriage motorway whose initial four lanes is expandable to future six lanes. Intended to serve as a central part of the national and regional transport system, promoting trade and development in Kenya, the road will be capable of sustaining traffic speeds of up to 120 km per hour and will have controlled access. The highway is expected to improve roadway safety between the two cities, create an estimated 500 construction jobs, and reduce logistics cost along the Mombasa Nairobi Transportation Corridor. 
Kenya Mega Dams. Seeking to solve its water shortage issues while enhancing food security and hydropower generation, Kenya is currently on its most ambitious dam construction mission. As far back as 2013, the Kenyan government has either signed or planned to sign deals valued at more than 700 billion shillings for construction of mega dams in the country. Through various state agencies, the Kenyan government is currently building a number of mega dams, which include the Thwake Dam at the border of Makwini and Kitui, the Iter Dam in Nakuru, the Karamanu Dam in Gatundu, the Thaiba Dam in Kirinyaga, and the Maruni Dam in West Pokot, among others. Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway Connecting the large Indian Ocean city of Mombasa with Nairobi, the railway runs parallel to the narrow gauge Uganda Railway. Costing over $3.6 billion, the standard gauge railway is among Kenya's most expensive projects, with the prime contractor being the China Road and Bridge Corporation. Already supporting passenger and cargo transportation, the 480 kilometers line, which shortens passenger travel time from Mombasa to Nairobi from more than 10 hours to a little less than 4 hours, is currently undergoing second phase construction, which is an extension from Nairobi to Naivasha at an estimated cost of $1.5 billion. Partly financed by the Kenyan government, the project is among the flagship projects under the Kenya Vision 2030 development. Kanza Technopolis Formerly called the Kanza Technology City, it is a large technology center planned and built by the government of Kenya, 64 kilometers south of Nairobi, on the way to the port city of Mombasa on an estimated cost of $14.5 billion. As a key driver of Kenya's national development plan, known as Kenya Vision 2030, the process seeks to attract business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, and light assembly manufacturing industries. As part of the project, a university campus focused on research into technology is being constructed as well as hotels, residential areas, schools, and hospitals. The technology center also includes a science park, a convention center, shopping malls, and international schools. LabSet Project Also known as the Lamu Corridor Project, it is a transport and infrastructure project, which when completed will result to Kenya's second transport corridor after the Mombasa-Uganda Corridor. So far, some basic infrastructures of the project, like a police station and harbor office in Lamu, have been constructed while the construction of its main components, like ports, pipelines, roads, and railways is currently ongoing. The project is the first single integrative infrastructure project initiated and prepared by the government under the Vision 2030 strategy without foreign assistance. Presenting an investment opportunity that may be considered by the private sector investors, including pension, insurance, and saving funds, the project from its budget has been estimated to cost over $24 billion. All these projects, either in the planning or establishment state, are geared towards the development of Kenya and growth of its economy. As promised in his campaign, William Rotu is therefore expected to step up the country's status by following up the progress of these projects till accomplishment. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and become a member of our growing diverse community here on Think Rich AFRCAM. Thanks for watching and see you in another interesting video. Thank you.